Beit Shemesh. Today it is a Jewish city with about 150,000 Jewish inhabitants. Tel Beit Shemesh is an archaeological site, an ancient city from the Canaanite period. At first it was a small town and over the generations it has grown. In Canaanite mythology the sun goddess is the daughter of a god, the head of the gods and Asherah the goddess of fertility. She worked with Baal, the god of rain, and dried up the earth. The Canaanites living in the city adopted the sun goddess to be the goddess of their city and worshipped it, hence the name of the place. Sun is Shemesh. This area was the border of the spread of the Philistines who sometimes ruled Beit Shemesh. The book of Joshua mentions that the city was in the territory of the tribe of Judah, and was a city given to the priests. The book of Samuel tells that the Philistines returned the Ark of the Covenant to Israel in Beit Shemesh. As written, And they of Beth Shemesh were reaping their wheat harvest in the valley, and they lifted up their eyes, and saw the Ark, and rejoiced to see it. But the people of Beit Shemesh were punished for looking at the Ark of the Covenant. As written, And he smote of the men of Beth Shemesh, because they had gazed upon the Ark of the Lord. During the reign of the Jews the city was renewed. A battle was fought between Amaziah king of Judah and Jehoash king of Israel who won. In the days of Ahaz, it was again conquered by the Philistines, and later destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. In the days of the Second Temple there was a small Jewish settlement. In the Byzantine period with the spread of Christianity a monastery was built, and in the nearby Jamal house a monastery was also established in the name of Rabban Gamaliel the Elder who was the president of the Sanhedrin. During the Ottoman period, there was an Arab village in Deir Aban, east of Beit Shemesh. Some identify the village with even Ha Ezer from biblical times. During the War of Independence, an Egyptian force came from the south, and opposite it a force from the Harul Brigade from the north. They sat facing each other tens of meters apart, for about three months. During the mountain operation in October 1948, the joint outpost was captured, followed by the entire area. In this place, the Har Tuv transit camp was established in the name of the nearby Moshava that had been abandoned earlier in the war. After two years, the name of the transit camp was changed to Beit Shemesh. Its inhabitants were Jews from North Africa, Persia, Iraq and Romania. In 1950 Mashavim were established. Mashav Masha was established by Jews from Yemen. After five years they left, replaced by Jewish immigrants from Morocco and Cochin in India. Mashiv Yishai was established by Yemeni Jews. And Mashiv Zanoa, also established by Yemenis, which after a time were abandoned and replaced by North Africans. Near the Mashiv there is Kirbet Zainu, which some identify with Zanoa, which was a Jewish settlement during the Bible period. As it is written, in the lowland, Eshtaol, and Zora, and Ashna, and Zanoa, and Enganim. Over the years, Jewish immigrants came to Beit Shemesh and the city grew, industrial and commercial areas were established. In the 1990s, ultra-Orthodox began to arrive and neighborhoods were built with a character suitable for their needs. Today the city continues to grow and develop rapidly.